An innocent trip to the abandoned house for some urban exploration ends in a series of fearsome events. Will you be able to get out alive? They always have that camera angle of somebody looking out the window. I guarantee you I'll be able to see a nigga in there, bro. Like, bro, I just saw him. I just saw him right there. I'm not going in there. I, I saw him clear as day to nigga like he was naked. There's a naked homeless man. <laughs> There's a naked homeless man in that house. I'm not going in there. Also, who goes urban exploring by themselves? Like, realistically, who goes urban exploring on their own? That just seems dumb, doesn't it? Like, at least go with the homies. So if, like, someone chases you, you can just outrun them. Like, yeah, you lose the homies, but you won't lose your life. What? What happened? Where am I? My head feels like I've been knocked out. It was a bad idea to explore this house. I need to get out of here. What the? This wasn't here. No, the camera. And a tape. The tape is signed, Your Way. What is it all about? There's no one here. Someone's playing with me. Well, it won't hurt to check it out, right? No, nigga, it always does. It always does. Have you never watched a horror movie, bro? It literally always hurts. Okay, it's the backyard of this place. Oh, fuck yeah, an axe. So many tools. Does that nigga have an ass for a face? Nah, bro, grab your axe. Grab your axe, bro. Grab the axe. Okay, whatever. I guess it's normal around here. Niggas with ass faces chilling about. See, it's hard to trust a nigga with, a, with like a bunker this deep, bro. What does he have this for? Is he like a... If he's not like an apocalyptic person who like, you know, prepares for this kind of shit, I don't trust him. This is his fucking dungeon for his victims. And I would never go down there. I am not going to get Jeffrey Dahmer in the basement. Especially not me, bro. I'm, I'm black. I gotta watch out. I, I was his prime pick, bro. Young, dark, and handsome. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? This tape is signed outside the insides. It feels weird to watch them. It's like I wasn't just watching, but actually being there physically. Alright. There's loud noise and static, but you hear an excited woman's voice. You hurt. One step away. Bring him so happy. Never in my life would I have thought achieve it. Camera and tapes? Dimensions? I would crazy. Miraculously, it works. Chance. Scientific discoveries. More tests. There's even more static and noise. When you thought this must be the end, you hear a clicking sound and then the woman speaks again, but this time she's clearly disturbed by something. Not him. A mistake. How could I? A good idea? Still a dead beloved from another. It's not even close. About our world, horrific and twisted counterparts. This thing. Abomination. Mimic a human. Some reason. Foolish. What I deserve. Follow me. I can't let this happen. Then the tape just stops. See, that's why you don't fuck with alchemy. I mean, you should watch full of um, full of Alchemist Brotherhood. You'll learn it from them instead of having learned the hard way. Picture of a man. I mean, obviously, bro is dealing with supernatural things now, so he's kind of fucked no matter what he does. I'm a rebel. Okay, it's blocked off. Fuck. Like, once once things start turning for the paranormal, you're basically just fucked. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. Dirty ass motherfucker lives here, bro. Bro's got tires and trash. The double T's. Oh, we also got tetanus. Maybe they got titties. Yeah, that's not that bad. <laughs> the Minecraft fucking water noise. Hell yeah, bro. Man, you would never catch me anywhere near the sewers. I'm not trying to get caught lacking about fucking Killer Croc, bro. Or Pennywise. Or even just like a random homeless man who lives in the sewers. Like, I feel like if you live in the sewers, bro, you gotta be somewhat violent. I don't know, man. There's a lot of places you could choose to live in other than sewers. We're really probably down there training with Splinter. What the fuck is happening, bro? Why are there flesh pillars that are beating? <laughs> bro, why, why are the flesh pillars throbbing? Bro, where am I? 
in a heart. Oh my god. I didn't expect it to fucking explode. I thought he'd like take it out or something. Bro, put the camera down, nigga. Did you not just see that monster walk past you? Nigga, did you not see that cryptid in your peripheral vision? You don't put this fucking camera down and throw hands. I don't know what to do about you, bro. Bro really didn't put the fucking camera down when he saw that fucking melted man walking past him. Oh, weapon. Fuck yeah. Next time we see him, we can bash his fucking brains in. Dude, I'm strong as shit. That's a weak ass lock. No, that nigga had eyes in his shoulders. No, we're dealing with some bad shit. Oh my god. Is that the fucking amnesia monster? What is happening? Nah, bro, you better pick up that fucking... <laughs> that crowbar you have, bro. We're doing hands. Fuck these tapes. No way, bro. What is that door made of? Why does bro not fight back, bro? Oh no, I've been stu I've been sucked in. How do I even get out of here? What was that? Nigga, you better start running, bro. That is a that is a doom enemy. Jesus Christ! Good to say, bro. Call upon your call upon Jesus, bro. He's the one who can help you now. Hope you've been going to your um your fucking monthly church marathons, bro. Holy shit! I hear my means fast. Hope you learned your lesson, bro. Just stop. Okay, there we go. Yeah. What? What is happening? I'm so confused. I woke up being all alone. The door was open just like that. I still can't believe I managed to exit the house. Nothing and no one stopped me. Trauma of those events haunts me to this day. My friends didn't see the change in me at first. But you can't hide with your true emotions forever. I can't tell them. They won't believe me anyway. This is my burden, and I have to carry it myself. Well, nigga, next time, don't go into an abandoned building where you literally saw a chewed up fucking meatball man on the second floor on your own. Especially not turning your back the moment you walk in. The car was still there where I left it. It was time to go back. I'm still afraid that I'll see this thing when I turn around. But when I do, it's never there. Although in my head is still present haunting me every time I hear a sudden noise or have a bad dream. I think this feeling will eventually go away. As well as my phobia of cameras. I mean, it will, right? He hit that drift crazy smooth. Bro should not be exploring these urban areas. Bro should become a professional drifter. More to story, don't fucking go urban exploring by yourself in places where you literally see a monster the moment you pull up. Like if you pull up and you see a monster, then you better pull away because that is not the place to be. Oh, there's more. Nah, they didn't get me. I was betting it. Fuck you, bitch.